Hey guys, all right, let's talk about the hair. I never officially showed you guys my haircut. Um, since my hair is straightened today, which I often don't straighten it at all, I thought I would show it to you now. Um, I had originally planned to chop it off, like get it cut a lot shorter. I mean, look at it, it still looks pretty long. Like even though I know I straightened it and when you straighten your hair that makes your hair look even longer usually, but turn around so you can see. Hopefully you can see some of the layers. I just figured if I straightened it you could see it a little bit better. Um, and let me show you a recap of how long my hair originally was. Um, I wanted to show you my hair before I get it cut. This is kind of like a before. And this is just a clip from my quick messy bun updo tutorial. Some of you are wondering like why am I in such a hurry? Why did I seem so rushed? It's because I literally had my hair appointment right after filming that tutorial. And um, I didn't want to be late, but I did end up being a little bit of late, a little bit late because it was raining and then there was traffic and blah 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 blah. But yeah, that's why I was in such a hurry because I didn't want to be late to my appointment. So um, yeah, so originally I planned to cut it pretty short. I told my stylist, all right, let's go five inches off. And he was hesitant, like he didn't want to do it. I could tell he just didn't want to do it. So that made me feel like, okay, um, like in my head I was like, does he think I would look bad with shorter hair or something? Or is he just thinking like, cause my hair is so long that I might like cry or something if he goes that short because I was like, you know, I want to go shorter. Like I was almost considering like a long uh, bob kind of thing, but not, you know, too short. Just more of like a long kind of thing where the hair falls forward more. Um, and yeah, he just, he didn't want to do five inches off. So I think he only cut like three inches off. I don't know. But yeah, I mean... He did lighten up the layers, which is awesome because my hair, my head feels so much lighter now after getting the haircut. But this time, I think my layers are more blended in and more like cascading downwards to frame my face a bit. So I think he did a great job. I was really happy about that. Uh, as far as hair care goes, I'm still getting so many questions about that. I really don't do much different at all. I still use Pantene Pro-V shampoo and conditioner. Um, I still wash my hair every day. I blow dry it almost every day, but there are days where I just let it air dry, and then once it's air dry, I just like pull my hair back. I really don't do anything special with my hair at all. Sorry to disappoint, and I say this every time, but I'm very, very low maintenance with my hair, so yes. Okay, one last thing I wanted to talk about are eyebrows because eyebrows are hair too right that can be thrown into the hair category um i okay when it comes to makeup application i think brows are one of like the most difficult most challenging things for me um and i know a lot of people struggle with brows too especially if you have sparse brows or whatnot and you know you have to go through the pain of filling them in, making sure they don't look too unnatural, yada yada yada. Um, so this isn't going to pertain to everyone, but for those of you who have black hair, and whether you have, you know, thicker brows or kind of like long, unruly, bushy brows like I do, um, or if you have sparse brows, let's talk about you guys. Okay, so... For the longest time, I, you know, I try to do different things with my brows, see what I like, uh, see what works for me. That's why you'll often notice that my brows, like, look different every time. And you guys notice it so quickly. Like, you guys have good eyes. Um, so, in my soft spring tutorial, I tried out this new brow product. And I'll do a haul video soon, maybe even today. But I tried out the, uh, the Urban Decay Brow Box in Brown Sugar. And for that tutorial, it was my first time trying it, so I just used that darker powder really fast, that brownish one, just to fill my brows real quick and define them. But it looked a bit too harsh. It just, it didn't really flatter my face. It, it made it, my I think it made my brows look a little bit too fierce. 
And oftentimes when I use things that are too dark on my brows, it makes my brows look even like hairier and bushier, which is not flattering at all. And if you can look at this powder, it's a bit too brown. And oftentimes, um, I mean personally, I you know, I think on those of you who have black hair and on myself, when the brow powder or pencil or whatever is too brown, it just doesn't look right. So lately, what I have been using a lot for my brows, and I'm really like satisfied with, I really like the look of it, it's what I have on right now, you know, it's not too much, it's pretty natural, is Max Shadow in Copper Plate. And this is just a really grayish taupe brown color. And I know the light's washing out a little bit, but it's not very dark at all. But for those of you who have black hair and long bushy brows like mine, and where it's not like too sparse, I mean, I have a lot of sparse areas, as you can see, but that's not too sparse. Try this out, or try a color similar to this out. And don't go with anything shimmery or like frosty if you're using an eyeshadow, of course. But try some, try a color like this out where it's just dark enough but not too dark. I've been really pleased with it. I just want to share with you guys because I know some of you probably have like similar the similar issue as me. Okay, now for those of you ladies who have really sparse brows, like say, you know, you have to fill in like the tail of your brows. Um, it's because it's like not, it's very sparse there or whatever. Try using a dark charcoalish brown or taupe color or even black. Um, and if you need the extra definition, I would go ahead and just use a pencil. You could you could set it with a powder if you want, but with for the definition, go ahead and use a pencil. Just use soft strokes. Um, it could be an eyebrow pencil or even an eyeliner pencil. Just if you do go with an eyeliner pencil, make sure it's not too like creamy or it doesn't come on too dark and pigmented right off the bat because, you know, something that's a bit like stiffer, kind of like a wax would probably work better. I just find that if you use like a brown color, a brownish color, it usually just doesn't look very flattering. And I know a lot of places like they'll either have like the lighter um, pencil for blondes or, you know, and then they'll have like the darker one for brunettes and usually that darker one is either too dark or too brown. And so that's just kind of my advice. Um, you know, you guys let me know what you use to fill in your brows, whether, you know, matter, no matter what kind of hair color you have, let me know what your hair color is. Let me know the state that your brows are in, like if they're sparse, if they're long, bushy, unruly, whatever. Just let me know um, that and let me know what you use to fill in your brows and if you like how it's working out for you, I guess. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching. Bye.